Hello guys, welcome back to another video. So I wasn't actually meant to be vlogging today. Well, I kind of was. So I had this theatre trip planned to go see Gecko at the Barbican, which is today, which is what we're doing. Um, but I was supposed to see it with Vanessa, my girlfriend, if you didn't know. Um, and she is in Czech now. Uh, it just turned out that that was the only time she could go. So she's actually in Czech now. And I was like, do I go on my own? Um, people who know me will know I'm a very anxious person. I get very flustered if I'm on my own and I'm quite panicky. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, even though I vlog and I'm doing it in front of loads of people, which is really strange, I don't feel nervous doing this, I will feel very nervous going into the theater later. But I just thought to myself, why not? I really want to see the show. So I thought I'd go for it. So I'm actually in London. I'm just around the corner from the Barbican, but I'm meeting my friend Hannah um, for some drinks before. So we're just gonna have like a cocktail or beer or something before um, because she's actually seeing a show at Sadler's Well. I think I'm saying that right. Um, and she's also going for a solo trip. I am so sorry for that very abrupt end to the last clip. I was walking obviously vlogging and um, I heard my voice being shouted and I was like I know no one in London it was Hannah Hannah was across the road it turns out we got the same tube station and we were trying to find the the pub together I am now on my way to the theatre so we just had some drinks this really nice um, bar called 1920 if you're around like the Barbican Sadler's well kind of area make sure you go there because it was really lovely nice vibes it has pool tables and stuff so it was a really cool chilled vibe so as I was saying, this is obviously my first solo theatre trip and I just found out it was actually Hannah's too, which is pretty cool because that means we can kind of debrief afterwards, let, you know, let each other know how it was, what kind of stuff, so that's pretty cool. Um, I'm just working out if I'm heading in the right direction to be honest. I am so easily lost, which is why I'm kind of glad Hannah found me vlogging and, heard, and called my name because I would not have found the bar. We both kind of got lost for a second, but I would not have found the bar. Okay, so I think I'm heading in the right place. As I say, I've never been to the Barbican before, um, but this looks like what I believe it looks like. So um, I'm hoping I'm heading in the right direction. It is about seven o'clock, so I'm about 45 minutes early, which I'm kind of glad about because as I just said, anxious person coming on my own for the first time and I'm going to a theatre I've never been to. But anyway, I hope you're all having a good day. I hope you're feeling good. Let me know anything you've tried for the first time or if you've been to an event on your own or if you've, I don't know, done something a bit out there that you wouldn't normally do by yourself because I think it's really cool that people are doing this. Like, I watch Mark Ferris's vlogs and he's been doing a lot of solo traveling um, and I just think that's so cool. And that's kind of what I felt about this is that I didn't want to miss out on the show just because I had no one to go with. I thought I need to just go for it and I, to be fair I did ask about a million people if they would come with me because I didn't want to go with But I'm glad that I'm doing it. Like I feel good, I feel excited and I've got this, you know, I've completely got this. I found it but I think I'm going into a no access area. I'm just gonna go for it. The gates, the gate is actually open. Like I'm... I'm going for it. It says car park. This looks lovely. This looks really cool. <laughs> Not that has anything to do with it. Just so you wanna, just so you wanna see. This feels like um, anyone like the Hunger Games. This feels like cornucopia vibes. I'm not sure. I feel like I'm just walking and I'm not gonna head where I need to go. I think I'm gonna go around the outside. I feel like I'm in the middle and I think that's what's slipping me up. I think I'm in the middle of everything and I'm not on the outside. And everyone always says walk around the outside and I've gone directly in the middle. But people are walking this way so that makes me think maybe I'm in the right place. I'm gonna go take a look. So when I said I'm gonna go take a look, I literally put down the vlog camera for two seconds, right? And this is my view. This is the barbican. <laughs> this is the photo I saw online. This is what I've been looking for the whole time. And as I said, I was round the back. Well, actually, technically, I wasn't round the back. I was actually round the, um, in the middle. I was in the middle of it all. So, um, but I'm in the right place. Um, I might stay up here for a little bit because it's a little bit busy down there. How do you guys feel about like doing things for the first time? Like, I'm a very anxious person, as I said, and I've just been intrigued to see if like, because I definitely have anxiety, like I'm not self-diagnosing myself, but I think anyone would meet me would agree um, that I do. And to be fair, when I did have some counselling, they 
basically told me I have anxiety, but again, counseling isn't a form of diagnosis, so I'd never want to like diagnose myself with that. But I would definitely say I'm someone that suffers from like anxiety. But I'm just wondering how you feel when you go to new places and try new things. Like, do you find it scary? Do you find it overwhelming? Like, this is kind of to people who don't suffer with anxiety because I don't know, I'm just intrigued. Like maybe it is more of a normal feeling than sometimes you're made to feel because like I feel like no one else feels anxious right now. That's how I feel. Like I feel like I'm an alien type thing and everyone's judging me. Right, I'm gonna head on down because I actually just realized that where I got lost and I've been waffling, it's actually quarter past and I would like to go to the toilet before. So this may be the last time we see before the show. So wish me luck. Let's hope the anxious thoughts lay and stay at bay and I'll be able to do this and I'll be okay because I will be okay because people do this all the time and I never judge them so no one's gonna judge me. So I'm gonna be so fine. I'm in the theatre and I just did something I'd never done before and I would never do with someone. I asked someone if I was in the right place. Someone that was just a customer, was a normal person. I was just like, am I in the right place? I've never been before. They were like, yeah, 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 you're in the right place. And just nothing opens. And they were like, they're very late on opening and they normally open like 10, 15 minutes before the show. So I'm in the right place. I'm all good. So I feel relaxed. I feel good. I've got this. Um, so yeah, I will see you after the show. But yeah, so I have seen them once before, but that was like a merge between them and a charity. So it was slightly different to their normal work, whereas this was like pure gecko. Um, it was really good. I can see why my girlfriend loves it so much because it is incredible. Um, yeah, so good. If you ever get the chance to see gecko, definitely do it. Loved the barbican. Absolutely amazing venue. Confusing. Like, got lost about three times. Had to ask about four different people where I was going. Um, but it's a beautiful venue. Like, so, so nice. Definitely try and go there. I'm going to send the vlog off here. Um, solo theatre trip. First one ever done. Very impressed with myself. Very glad I did it. I was very nervous to start off with. Um, but then when I was sat down, I was fine. And both the three people that were sat around me, all on their own. All on their own. None of them had significant others or people with them so um i think i, I think i'm fine i think i've done it now so i think i would be able to do it again and welcome aboard the southern service to hastings calling at clapham junction yes yeah, so what i was trying to say before the announcement rudely interrupted me was if there's anything you ever want to do um whether it be you want to do it on your own or you have no choice but to do it on your own or you feel like you it's something you should do on your own for the first time or you've always wanted to do on the first time or you might be missing out on something because you have no one to go with do it like do it no one is judging you no one is staring at you and it's easy to think that like i still sat there with the people sat around me who were also on their own i thought oh god they think i'm on my own but they're on their own don't like do you know what i mean they don't care so um definitely go for it so that is it for today's video. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe and hit that to get notifications when I post. Keep doing things you think you're scared to do. That is the moral of this vlog. And one thing I would like you to take away, try something by yourself that you never would do before. All right guys, see you again very soon. Bye.